What's up guys? So, I got myself a new truck to mess around with. Uh, it's not exactly new on the market, but it was something that I've always wanted. It looked pretty cool. Uh, it's the ProLine Pro MT. This is the ambush version. Special edition ambush version. Obviously I don't have the body on it yet, but um, while I was working on it, putting my motor ESC servo into it, this was this was the pre-built uh, roller uh, that I bought. Um, I, 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 di I didn't like where they had you putting the receiver in. Yeah, the receiver is supposed to go down in here in this area here. And um, I seen on the Facebook group a guy had the Traxxas. I think this is out of... Uh, a four by four slash receiver box, and uh, excuse me, I went ahead and did some modifications to it myself. So, as you can see, I have it mounted up here in the front of the truck. Uh, all it took was for me to drill out two tiny little holes in the top plate of the steering so as soon as I get these two screws out of here I'll give you a, an idea of what I'm talking about see this two, this little plate right here I just drew two uh, drilled two small holes in there and I uh, uh, you know tapped them a little bit with a screw a couple times with the, with the electric driver and then I put the box up in here and it fits in there nicely the only thing I, I probably should have moved it forward just a little bit more this this screw here is kinda of getting hidden under here I can make it work uh, I'll probably take my Dremel with a barrel sander on it and maybe just sand out a little bit of the plastic in this area uh, it shouldn't compromise any of the strength of anything and it should be able to let me access that screw a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and do that real quick. Welcome to my workstation, by the way. It's almost clean. It's not too crazy messy. Only somewhat messy. The rest of my room, some of my cars, some of the projects. Yeah. I'm on my uh, way to building a new room upstairs, so. Alright, let's get this done. I think this should be just enough. That should be plenty. Clean off the stuff a little bit. Let's put this back in its spot. So as you can see, the place they have you put the receiver is extremely close to the gears. And all of us at some point, for the most part, have had wires go down into gears and make an absolute freaking mess of them. Uh, I wasn't having that, especially with a new truck. So after I figured out what I wanted to do and saw this idea obviously I can just run my ESC wire right up over the top of the motor uh, I gave it some slack uh, but not enough where it'll actually at any point even in a big jump hard landing will ever go down in there uh, I put the servo wire through the way they want you to and as you can hopefully see it down in there it comes through underneath the center differential and then I just used a piece of extremely strong Gorilla duct tape to tape the wire down. I put it down inside where they originally wanted you to run the ESC wire. There's some little clips. Um, I stuck it through there 
gave it a pull up and sent it through the box clamped down they don't move i don't believe actually it looks like it, it might be able to touch that thing right there so i'm going to give it a little bit more of a pull through um, tighten that up just a little bit because i don't want that i don't want that going in there at all still can't move it Tighten this up just a hair. Now there's no chance of it getting over there. Tighten it back down. I don't think it'll be an issue whatsoever. None of the wires appear that they can move their way over there. I'm very happy with that situation. So there's a little bit of a tip for you. I'm gonna put my receiver box in there. I'm gonna pop this top on here. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not popped the body on here to see if it clears here yet. So I'm gonna go grab the body and see if that is an issue. All right, so here's the body. That's where it's gonna be mounted in that vicinity there. And as you can see, that that box is not gonna be a problem whatsoever. Um, I think that's going to work out nicely. You know, it's a little bit more of a, it's a waterproof box. It's, it's keeping your wires away from those uh, nasty gears down there for the most part. And I believe that's going to, that's going to save me some trouble in the long run. Uh, I can't wait to get out and run this truck. It's not going to be long. It's been raining for like two weeks straight here. Obviously, we're dealing with the COVID-19 situation. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying smart, staying home if you can. If you're out there working, please do your best to keep yourself safe. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope this helps some people out there. Um, remember to like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate that. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya.